What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, back again with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to get Magikarp very early on in the game before you have access to surf or to fish for Pokemon. Now, all you need to do is have access to the Pokemon Center that is before Mount Moon in order to get access to this Magikarp. If you don't know, in the classic Pokemon Red, Green, Blue, and Yellow games, also in these Let's Go remakes, there's a man in the Pokemon Center in front of Mount Moon who will sell you a magic card for 500 Poke Dollars in game. Now, while it might put you back 500 Poke Dollars when you could be using your Poke Dollars on Poke Balls at the time, if you think about it, this is actually pretty cool because this is you gaining a magic card before you gain the ability to surf for one in the game. You cannot encounter a magic card without the surfing technique in this game and you don't get access to you know the fishing rods and stuff like that either you don't get access to actually capture a magic card until you get access to the surfing pikachu or surfing ev technique do note that when you get this magic card regardless it will come at level fives and it'll only know the move splash and that move does not have effect on pokemon so you would want to put that magic art within your party let it gain a couple of levels to get i believe tackle is the next move that it will get but still it's not a strong move so you're gonna have to use this keep this magic art within your party until it like graduates and evolves into gyarados which is cool gyarados is a way better pokemon than magic art obviously and kind of is the thing it's like you have to walk around with a pokemon that is inherently terrible to get something that is great which has always been magic Magic card sting and again I love that they kept this in the game that it's still kind of outrageous to pay this price for basically a fish Pokemon that is low level and doesn't know any moves that can attack someone and stuff like that even the guy that you're buying it from kind of make fun of you that you actually bought it which is pretty cool and you know it, it goes to show you know the Pokemon company's sense of humor when it comes to stuff like this and making front of magic card even you know down to the magic card jump game that they dropped on ios and android which i thought it was terrible but it just shows the love for magic card but at the same time making fun of it and poking at it and stuff like that. now obviously this was a very easy tip that anyone could come across in the pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee games i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos like this where i go over a little stuff like this to even bigger stuff within the game so if you are interested hit that subscribe button hit that like button if you have any questions at all just want to talk about magic card in general in this little quick way to get Magikarp, let's meet down in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. I'm gonna see you guys down there. Peace. And I'm also gonna see you guys on the next Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee video. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.